Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. It is Friday, TGIF. It is November 13th, 2020, and I'm having a hard time keeping up with the days this year because now, because my calendar, the old one used to tell me how many days left there were. Then I got a new calendar, so I wrote in there. Well, now I, the new calendar was just copied papers, so now I'm finished with all those and I have to figure it out. But I should be able to remember it from day to day. But there's a lot going through this mind. 50 days is what I'm going to say. 50 days left in the 2020 edition of the Game of Life. I did get my new hat yesterday. I found this hat at Cracker Barrel over in Alpharetta. Good morning, Kay. When you hop on here this morning, please tell me good morning and where you're from. And then I came home and put this pin on it because there's a little bit of gold um, gold threading through this. I put this pin on it. Hey, everybody. I'm glad you're with me this morning. I hope that you have a your weekend already planned out in your mind. You know, are you going to have a perfect day? Or do you think there's something special enough to have a holiday? Good morning, Amy. Happy Friday. She's having a perfect day. Good morning, Renee. Good morning. I'm so glad that y'all are here. Good morning, Michelle. I'm wearing red for Remember Everyone Deployed. This, this doesn't even fit. This thing is just huge, too big. It's way too big. But all my other red shirts are dirty. I hadn't washed clothes in a while. I need to wash clothes. Y'all get like that? Hey, Kathy, good morning. Good morning, Pamela. Having a Tiger 16 day. Love the hat. Thank you. I actually like this style a lot. I really tried on another hat yesterday that was super cute too. But the style of it just doesn't lend to being comfortable. You know, so I thought I didn't buy that when I got this one. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Polly. Thank you. Thank you. Polly is in Dalton. Uh, yeah, I saw that on your, your mug the other day. I thought you must have been a red hatter. I saw that on your mug. I was talking to a lady last night whose mom is 80. And Polly, I used you and Patricia as examples to let her know that her mom could do this. Good morning, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy's having a perfect day. Charlene from Michigan. Thank you, Charlene, for loving my hats. I've just kind of decided to wear them because I saw a cute one at Cracker Barrel a few weeks ago, and I, now I'm like, I like these hats. Good morning, Tammy. She's working to eliminate a three-day holiday last weekend. That's right. She's wearing red. Way to go, Tammy. Perfect weekend and every day until Thanksgiving Eve. Way to go. I love that plan. I love knowing what you are doing. Um, good morning, Shirley from Dalton, having a lion day today. Good morning, Marla, off to work with three perfect days planned ahead. You know what that means when Marla goes off to work? She is traveling on an airplane. She is a flight attendant. She is still planning on three days. Perfect. Way to go, Marla. That is awesome. That is awesome. Good morning, Cheryl. Hope your husband's doing well today. She's having an intermittent fasting day in Clarksville. I'm having intermittent fasting day as well. My husband wants us and some two neighbor, two sets of neighbor couples to go to the new 1885 restaurant in Ackworth tomorrow. And I'm contemplating a hall of meal or just make it perfect. I don't know. Um, let's see. Good morning, Christy from Ball Ground. A perfect day. Woo, day five of self-mastery. I love it. I'm so glad you're doing that challenge. Good morning, Charlene. Thank you so much for sharing, y'all. But it's very important to share. Just your sharing helps us tell about Shibola. So in the bottom left-hand corner, share, and then hit the blue share now, and you're good to go. You don't even have to say anything. All right, let's go ahead and go into our devotion. Our devotion is careful words. Proverbs 13, 2 and 3. Proverbs 13, 2 and 3. And this is from the message version, so it might sound slightly different than what you're used to. The good acquire a taste for helpful conversation. Bullies push and shove their way through life. Careful words make for a careful life. Careless talk may ruin everything. So now I have to look up and see what that said. Um, hey, everybody. So, in the New King James Version, it says, He who guards his mouth preserves his life, 
but he who opens wide lips shall have destruction. Oh, the verse before that. A man shall eat well by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the unfaithful feeds on violence. All right. I just like to read the different different versions, especially when you read the message one, since it's not written quite the same, but I thought it was good. Okay. What God created for pleasure and benefit can turn against you. God created food for your nourishment, yet too much or too little causes problems. Friendships add meaning to life, but unwise relationship choices bring unnecessary pain. God blesses you with work, yet job or mission obsession often causes burnouts. Similarly, words connect you with others, but reckless speech alienates. The good news? God doesn't leave you to wander care carelessly through life. He gives you direction. Ask for what you need today. So ask for what you need today. I love that part about the food, obviously, because it says too much or too little causes problems. And it was meant for nourishment. And there are times when we can use it for celebratory reasons, but that's not 365 days out of the year. So we just need to use food as it was intended to be used. And um, there's a book by Tony Evans and it's something about the power of the tongue. I, I read it. I read it a few uh, years ago, so I really can't remember the title. But it was so good. It was just so good. Um, talking about what we say comes to pass. So I really do, and we've talked about this before on here, but I really do want you to watch your words very carefully. The things that you say about yourself, they need to be the things that the Lord would say about you. And if you catch yourself saying something that isn't true to the Lord, it's just one of those ants, those automatic negative thoughts. What do we do with an ant? We squash it. If that ant comes to destroy our picnic, we flick it, we squash it, we get rid of it. We don't allow ants to come near us. Ants are automatic negative thoughts. And when you have one of those about yourself, I want you to capture it, just like the Bible says, you capture it and you make that thought obedient to Christ and then you say it out loud. And if you do that today, you're going to have very positive feelings about yourself like the Lord would be thinking about you, okay? And you, it will elevate your, um, your, your mood immediately. Watch it. Do it. Watch it happen. It will. So if you have an automatic negative thought, capture it, turn it around to the truthful thought that it is Jesus what he would say about you, then say it out loud about yourself and then move on from that situation. Don't let, in, uh, don't let an ant infestation come. We don't need ant infestations, all right? So just wanted to tell you that this morning. And when you hop off of here, please make sure that you journal, that you journal your day. You declare your day. Your day does not declare you. Oh, and I have eaten out at lunch four times this week. Three of those times I've had salmon. And I think I might just start saying, I don't even need the broccoli. Can you just bring me the salmon? I don't, how much is salmon by itself? So I don't, I mean, I eat, I pick at the broccoli, but not enough to matter. So, um, but we're going to go ahead and pray ourselves off of here. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for Shaboleth. Um, thank you for my friends via technology. And I pray, Father, that they have a perfect day today. I pray that what they declare um, for themselves, that they keep their promise to themselves so that they can trust themselves, Father. So I pray, Father, that they catch any negative thought that they might have about themselves and turn it around to how you would think about themselves and let them say it out loud, Lord. I pray for continued healing for Cheryl's husband and for Rhonda's daughter and and I know there's some other members that used to watch the Shibby Show that aren't on here anymore, but um, I do pray for them as well. I can think of three right now that, that have, were watched over a long time, and I don't know what's going on in their life, Lord, but I lift them up to you. And like I've said before, I pray, Father, that somebody just reaching out to make the purchase of Shibboleth is like them reaching out and touching the hem of your garment, that it will be powerful enough to help them make these life-altering, life-improving, life-extending changes that benefits not only them, but so many other people around them and gives glory to you, Lord. 
Father, in our country right now, I pray that we have clarity about what is going on. I pray that any voter fraud, which is obvious, is um, exposed, Lord, and that it can be corrected for future generations. I pray that there is transparency. I pray that there is verification and that there are remedies. And Lord, let us not grow weary as believers. Let us not grow weary. The social media and the mainstream media will try to wear us out. We will not be worn out in the name of Jesus. We are going to stay strong and believe in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Polly said she just had the exterminator out for ants. She doesn't like them at all. Yes, and if we have to pull out the, the can, the extermination can, we're going to call it the eye can. So anytime you get an ant and it's a larger ant that you can flick away, pull out your eye can. I can do it. I can get, away, get, get rid of these stupid automatic negative thoughts. I can get rid of those ants. Yes, Kathy, thank you. You have a great weekend as well. You too. I will see y'all on Monday for the Shibby Show. If you sponsor anybody this week or this weekend, make sure they know about our welcome party on Monday. I'm not Monday, Sunday at 3. And then make sure they know about the webinar on Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And make sure they know about the laps, that they work their way through the laps. Because if they work their way through the laps, it takes them through everything that they need to do. So, y'all sponsor this weekend. Don't forget that we've got a membership where somebody can join for just $10 for the Fast Track 5 week. They get 5 weeks, they get Fast Track, and they get 5 weeks. But they do not get all of the full libraries for $10. Just the, the full paying members for the annual do that. So, Honestly, I think the best value is still the $59.95 because you still get fast track and everything. You get all the libraries and all of that. But if somebody just really wanted to only spend the $10 and get a toe touch into it, they could. I still think the other's better. All right. Okay. Y'all have a great day. Bye.